All right, all right. I think, oh my God. Everything looks good. Oh, wait. There we go, there we go, there we go. Now everything looks good. Bit. What's going on? What's going on? Welcome, welcome. Welcome one, welcome all. How you doing today? How you doing? What day is today? Oh, it's Monday. Oh yeah, Monday sucks. Never mind. Not doing too well. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I'm with you though. I'm with you. Either way though, happy Monday. Happy Monday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's just get started. Fuck it. I got no interesting stories for you guys, sadly. Nothing new, nothing new. Just, you know, chilling, chilling, living, living the life, living the life. You know, can't complain. Uh, but yeah, so today we got a couple of things to do. Um, first, I want to watch some videos I've been holding on to. Then, um, I want to try something else. Oh my god, that's so gross. Okay. Uh, what am I doing? Alright, that's right, that's right. Bam, what the bam, 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 what the bam. Alright, cool. Bet, 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 bet. Okay. Uh, so yeah, fuck it, let's get started, right? There's no reason to, uh, hold on. So, um, well, first of all, I wanted to watch this video that just came out so we can watch it real quick it's gonna be great though we're gonna watch some videos we are going to um uh what else oh yeah i want to play this game it's called um guess the the logo uh, i haven't played it so that'd be cool and then after we can play some more elden ring because i want to get more deeper into the elden of the rings because we're getting pretty far, so, you know, we're getting there, we're getting there. But yeah, this is the first video I wanted to watch. Uh, 10 unthinkable punishments given for video, video game piracy. If they have this Zelda one, they'll be great. But I'm not even sure what they have. So let's watch this, hope. Pirates have been sailing the video game seas literally since the dawn of video games. But more and more, publishers and game developers are coming up with really crafty ways to fight back. We've talked about this a bit in the past, but we've got some fun new examples for you. We got 10 games that troll pirates in really funny ways. Starting off with number 10, let's talk about Batman Arkham Asylum. One of the best surprise Batman. Why is always Batman? Batman always has like something happening, something going on with like the piracy or the game or the complaining. It's always Batman. Never played it though, but it's always Batman. Batman games to come seemingly out of nowhere. Uh, the series is known for anti-piracy stuff, but I don't see Arkham Asylum really getting a lot of recognition. But for this, it was pretty simple. If you pirated the game, there'd be a bug where Batman couldn't glide. Like his cape was messed up. And when you try gross. to glide, uh, he yeah, kind of so chicken gross. flaps his way down. Along with that, randomly in the game, there were points where you- Wait, so Batman couldn't fly? What's the point of Batman? You just like, man man couldn't grapple like places specifically where you had to grapple up to to progress the game it just didn't work it was kind of so you'll be soft block pretty much yeah that sucks sucks to be you kind of unpredictable and seemingly really annoying so what you have here is a batman that can't batman i don't that's like what him. i said i mean he could still break every bone in somebody's body and solve any manner of complicated crimes but he can't glide with his cape and he can't use his grappling hook so what good is he so really in yeah. this situation the person who makes out the worst is batman can't even do what he was put on this earth to do you don't want to do batman dirty like that do you he got done next dirty. over at number nine this is a pretty crazy one the original mirror's edge would do something similar to Batman where it would take away the character's main ability, the thing that they are supposed to do. As you probably know, the original Mirror's Edge was a pretty groundbreaking first person parkour adventure game where you- I couldn't get into it. Uh, when the first light was coming out, they were giving away demos. I tried playing it. 
I don't know. I think I was too stupid for it, honestly. Play is faith, and you got to jump and vault over fences, do wall runs, and jump from building to building. Yeah, and I couldn't do that. the game would essentially ground you. You'd start running, and at certain points, her feet would basically become molasses, and you'd slow down and kind of just get stuck. Watching gameplay videos of it, like people who have captured this, it, it almost seems like one of those strange nightmares where you kind of feel like you're sinking into quicksand. Oh, I think like that Faith will just slowly start walking slower and slower to the point where if you're going to run towards a ledge and jump, right before she'll start slowing down and then you just slowly ease up to that ledge and you don't have the momentum to make the jump. I've seen a lot of commenters and stuff on these videos uh, saying that EA is basically making you walk the plank here because the big jump in the beginning of the game is off of this plank down to another lower skyscraper and Faith essentially just walks slowly up to that plank and looks over the edge. So it's like a pirate reference. Walk the plank. You see what we're doing here? Comedic geniuses on the internet. Really? I think the developers in that. Okay. Have you guys had that, like that kind of style of dream? Cause I hate when that happens to me. It's like, doesn't matter what's going on. Doesn't matter. Like, you know what the dream is about. It's like, I can't run or I can't punch. And that bothers the crap out of me. Like I try to run and I'm just like crawling and it fucking sucks. I hate it so much. It makes me feel so. Ugh. In that instance, definitely knew what they were doing. They were horrible, man. Horrible. Next over at number eight. Oh man, this one is crazy. Uh, so Gary's mod in 2011 was updated with essentially a fake error that served as a. I keep hearing a lot of shit about Gary's mod, but I don't have no idea what the fuck that is. Way to deliberately identify and catch pirates if you pirated the Arr. game after this update you'll get like an error message that says unable to shade polygon normals this error screen also apparently showed the steam id of the game user so then from oh. there what a lot of people did on steam was they would screenshot that error screen and post it on oh, forums and on steam saying hey what's going on with my game what does unable to shade polygon normals mean <laughs> oh that literally home. doesn't really mean anything i don't think but essentially it led to a lot of people who pirated the game they get called out they called themselves out that's hilarious that's a fucking troll right there i love it that's a troll outing themselves and apparently according to website bitgamer uh they unmasked over 2500 pirates gary mods developer gary newman went on the record with bitgamer and i quote said i don't really look at it as lost revenue it's cool i've pirated as much as anyone i owned an amiga did anybody actually buy games for that thing according to the site he also explained Damn. it not technically as a total anti-piracy measure but as a reward for people who already bought the game uh he said and i I quote, it isn't meant to be some super DRM. Any DRM you come up with is going to be cracked. So why bother trying to make it hard to crack? Making Damn. it uncrackable isn't the motive here. Laughing at them is. I did this for the people that did buy Gary's mod. They get to point and laugh at pirates. He basically created good a bug guy, for people to self-own. And yeah. uh, you're going to see that theme a lot in this video. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Next up at number seven, depending on what region of the world you live in, you may be surprised to learn that there are entire games centered around the sport of cricket. The CEO cricket? of the development company, uh, Big Ant Studios behind Cricket. Is cricket really that popular? Like I know it exists, but I couldn't name you a team or even a player for any cricket team or organization or whatever. But is it that big? Really? That's crazy. But I mean. To each its own. 22 basically showed screenshots of people complaining about a white screen error in between matches. He showed that and said, yeah, I know how you can fix it. You can purchase the game and this issue will disappear. That's a pretty classic <laughs> way to I know the troll. I love it when they're trolls. They're like low-key trolls, but they're still fucking trolls either way. Try and fight back That's against great. piracy. Just have the game break when it is pirated. But when Big Ant Studios talked to Kotaku, they went on record saying they have other things in store for their games, and they've done a lot of things in the past. Like, if you pirated the game uh, in your matches, you will always lose 100% of coin tosses, uh, rain glitches, and rain problems. When speaking to Kotaku, he said, and I quote, I figure if people are going to steal the game, we might as well have some fun at their expense. He actually has some interesting yeah. things to say in in terms of converting people to uh, i mean if it works it works Shit, go cricket i guess <laughs> uh, real customers by promising people who pirated wow. the game that they can actually transfer their progress over when you buy a legitimate copy and and said that sales are actually up so i guess for them that was a pretty good way wow. of making lemons out of lemonade or lem lemons out of lemonade out of lemons i don't know the it's a good move though good move phrase 
Next over at number six, Skullgirls. You probably remember from a few years back, it's a massively yeah. popular animated style 2D fighting game. Just cool visuals, a great art style, really good music, characters that people just kind of fell in love with. People were really hooked on this game, uh, really. including some people that pirated the game with one person specifically outing themselves on social media because all the developers did was put a little cryptic message at the end of the game when you finish it uh, that popped up specifically for people who pirated the game. The message just says what is the square root of fish now i'm sad totally just nonsense and what? totally just inserted into the game for people that pirate it to maybe put them on some fault so it's gonna be the same shit people are gonna be asking and you'll know who stole that game trolls man False wild goose chase but uh, somebody on social media actually tweeted yeah. at the skull girl's official account oh, and said shit. hey i got this message after beating the game i don't know what it means to which skull girls replied oh that probably means you should have bought the game instead of pirating it and then a bunch oh, of people pointed but. and laughed and um, there you go i mean props to this guy for having the balls to tweet at yeah. the official oh, account but he kind of tried to cover his tracks and say he already bought the playstation 3 i'm sorry i kind of did uh try before you buy thing i already bought it on ps3 and i'm planning to i'm planning to buying it on steam soon i was about to buy it this morning oh of course yeah hold on hold on hold on i was about to buy it this morning but gamestop doesn't sell it directly online and i don't want to leave my house what kind of shit is that he fucking tried to backpedal so hard oh that's like the equivalent of um uh my little brother took my phone that wasn't me <laughs> like you send that risky text and you're like fuck you're like yeah my brother took my phone i'm sorry <laughs> that's fuck that's stupid three version and he was just kind of testing the pc uh, version uh whatever people hilarious. have all types of meltdowns or just say a bunch of things on social media all the time it happened years ago we don't need to dunk on anyone i actually think it ended at a good point because please help me the retweets won't stop. A great fan of yours decided to donate one of his copies, so now I have it. As the person that ah. got outed for this actually stated that somebody gifted him a copy of the game on Steam. Maybe they felt bad for him. Maybe they were just trying to do the right thing. But either way, that's kind of nice. Everybody Maybe they were trolls. Mistakes, and sometimes it takes I believe it could hand. be trolls, honestly. Next over at number five. Oh man, this is a really good one. So The Sims 4 is probably the biggest Sims game ever released. It's the most popular. It's the one. Okay, just about The Sims real quick. I played The Sims, Jesus Christ, many, many, many years ago. I'm not up to date, like, whatsoever. But when I did play, I only played it with the cheat code, the um, uh, infinite money. So I would just, like, ball out, buy a big piece of land, and build whatever I wanted with it. But because I cheated, I didn't get, like, the full experience. So I wasn't really into The Sims because of it. Maybe I shouldn't have cheated. One with the most expansions and the one with the biggest player count. It and did. when it first initially released, people were reporting a pretty wild glitch. It's really funny to see in action. So essentially in The Sims, when your character gets naked, uh, they get pixelated out like a censored thing like yeah. you would see on TV. It's very classic Sims. It's very funny. But then the problem is, is that once the players put the clothes back on, they would still continue to be censored. Like they would just be a blurry pixelated blob. And then that would keep spreading and growing oh. and then cover the entire screen. I was going to say, like, if it's just like the character getting like, you know, censored. I mean, I can live with it. It's, it's just an aesthetic. You don't need it to like to play the game. But I guess like the, that infection and they yeah, never mind. That's that's something else. And then your entire home, your everything within the game is completely blurry and pixelated. Making it... What is this, PS1? <laughs> pretty close to unplayable. It almost oh, looks like one horrible. of those cool filters that you'd unlock in a game to apply and look at it for two minutes and go, oh, cool. And, and then turn, turn it back. <laughs> but this, you were stuck with. And this was specifically put into the game to only happen horrible. to people that pirated the game. This one's pretty funny. It's just like obnoxious. It's almost like yeah. you know, you're, you're concerned about your monitor. Like, what's going on here? I think it was just brilliant how it was born out of something that was already in the game they didn't just pixelate the screen just because uh they actually took the character pixelation oh, concept damn. and blew it out you got to give the sims developers points for creativity here oh for sure like i give them more props than ever now that's hilarious Next, down at number four, one of our favorite games here at Game Ranks, it's Grand Theft Auto 4. Yes, Rockstar Never did played some it. pretty good tricks to try. I played San Andreas and then I, yeah, and then I skipped all the way to five. So, 
missed a lot. Try to prevent piracy, or at least push back in some way. And reportedly, they did a handful of little annoying things that would make it harder for people, like, you know, computers in the game not being able to be accessed, uh, certain parts of missions that would just stop working or would block you from progressing, like a character Soft wouldn't lock. get in a car or a cutscene wouldn't trigger. You know, basic stuff like we've mentioned earlier in the video where the developers just kind of break the game so that people yeah. who pirate it just can't use it. But they also went a little crazy here. Players who pirated the game also reported uh, cars just accelerating automatically as soon as you get in them, which is insane. It's almost like when you put on the like riot mode sheets where everybody just goes crazy and cars are driving like nuts, but it's you, the player. So as soon as you press triangle to get into a car, I hope you're ready. Along with that with cars, wow. uh, damaged engines was apparently a thing where as soon as you would get in a vehicle, it would automatically be smoking and ready to blow. If you've played any Grand Theft Auto game which I'm pretty sure most of you have, yeah. uh, you know that that is incredibly inconvenient. Uh, but the best one is the automatic drunk camera. Now, Grand Theft Auto 4 was pretty big for having mini games where you could go to a bar and get drunk and your character Jesus would stumble Christ. around and be hard to control. That's not drunk, that's shit-faced. And the camera would wiggle around. Well, believe it or not, if you pirated the game, uh, there's a good chance that your screen would shake like it did in drunk mode, but all the time. So Fuck while you can that. regularly move around, it is very hard to see and you might get motion sickness. Good luck targeting characters like with your gun or anything like that because it makes the game a hot mess. And as a countermeasure oh. for piracy, just making everybody kind of drunk, that's Oh, it's making me funny. so dizzy. Now down to Jesus number three. Christ. Couldn't do that. That made me dizzy just for that, those 20 seconds. Holy shit. Serious Sam 3. Just a good old fashioned kind of old Ugh. school style first person shooter. High speed, high chaos. We've done videos on this series before. We don't think it gets enough love, especially for newer generations. But Serious Sam 3 did a funny little thing. If you pirate it, uh, you will be constantly harassed by this big gross scorpion from the moment the you start that? jumping into the game. And that big gross scorpion is invincible and extremely quick. So it is always, and like, I mean it right up your ass, right in your face. And it's just straight up obnoxious. It's really funny to see it in motion, but it is really wild. So, I mean, play. They put a fucking OG ass monster just to fuck with you since the beginning. Players do technically love fuck. hard, challenging games, right? So I guess if you're looking for the ultimate serious Sam challenge, I, I guess you could go for oh. something like this. Good luck. He's not even like running. He's just like sliding. Next over at number two, the early days of Crisis, it was like the glory days, man. What a, an experience to have a PC that would actually run that thing. It was like a rarity. Uh, then when Crisis Warhead came around, uh, they stepped things up a little bit uh, in more ways than one. Uh, if you're running a pirated copy of Crisis Warhead, in our opinion, you're actually getting a better version of the game than if you paid for what? it. Because in the pirated copy, every single gun shoots something other than chicken. bullets. They, they, they actually shoot chickens. Yes, every single gun. Yeah, that's a win. I'd rather shoot, shoot uh, chickens. Gun will fire just big old birds instead of tiny big old cocks. Tiny bullets. And from gameplay we've seen on the internet, it seems like it's not just <laughs> that's weapons, hilarious. but also the enemy's weapons as well. Like gunfire is now chicken, chicken fire. fire. I think the only thing <laughs> they needed to do, a missed opportunity, is replace the gun sounds with chicken sounds. That would have made it even oh, better. Fuck. But again, they were trying to combat piracy with uh, this. Not really encouraged. I mean, if you if that's the only problem and you can still play the game like regular, fuck yeah, that's worth it. Shit. Next over That's at number hilarious. one, let's talk about Game Dev Tycoon. These games are fun, and, and the Game Dev one specifically, uh, after like the first day of it going on sale, apparently most of the versions running were pirated versions. Damn. So the two-person developer team actually uploaded their own cracked copy of the game on a file sharing piracy site preemptively that had a few extra lines of code. So if you play the pirated copy of the game, your own in-game game that you and your little studio in the game are making will be pirated and you'll <laughs> lose a ton of profits, <laughs> eventually leading to your in-game studio's bankruptcy. What the fuck? Oh, oh man, that's like a Uno reverse card to the extreme. That's genius.
That's fucking genius. See, this, of course, led to, like we've said many other times in the videos, uh, tons of players going online on message boards and review sites saying, hey, what's wrong with the game? Why is this happening? Only to out themselves as pirating the game. Damn. Shout out to Eurogamer in this instance for collecting a lot of funny reactions to this. Just another really A plus 100% example of top tier trolling. Nice job. And really, that's what this video is about. Game Fuck. developers and publishers that tried to troll the pirates in their games. Like I said, we've talked about some examples before, that's hilarious these people are like grade eight fucking trolls but not there's definitely jesus christ i love it though i love it well, tackling okay so i don't know about you guys but i love chasing some like monsters especially bosses if you're like super op and then you can just like two hand kill them those are the best so i want to see this uh this video finally then I uh, will play some games and shit. Uh, 10 video game bosses you didn't realize you can beat in seconds. Especially God of War. I'm about to get to that point. I'm really close. So I want to see what's up. Boss battles and games, we need to feel like we gamers are in the fight of our lives. However, it can be frustrating uh, to get stuck. If only there was an easier way to emerge triumphant. In certain cases... I did see like a cheese on a um, Dark Souls 1 or Dark Souls 2. There's like this big ass dragon. And all you have to do is jump behind it and jump on top, top of his head. And just like stab him one time. Game over. It's pretty cool. There is. I'm CypherWhatCulture.com and these are 10 video game bosses you didn't realize can be beaten in seconds. Number 10. Xenia Onatop. GoldenEye007. Oh, oh, I bet, um, fuck, what's his name? From, uh, what was that game? The Snape game. Metal Gear Solid. I bet you that old man is going to be there. The the first one, I believe. Even though Gold Knight is a bona fide classic, gamers have few fond memories of the jungle level. Because of the foggy environments, you can't see a oh, thing fuck half that. the time. As a result, you usually don't... On a CRT TV? Fuck that. ...don't notice enemies until they're right on top of you. But another reason why gamers struggled with the jungle was because of the boss at Xenia on top. Armed with an RCP-90 and a grenade launcher, this badass mercenary can kill you in a second, especially if you're playing on double-O agent mode. Oh. Fortunately, there's a neat trick that makes this encounter much easier. If you place remote mines on the bridge and detonate them as Xenia walks by, you'll cut her health in half before the battle begins. Now, this little technique doesn't guarantee victory if you get hit. Yeah, I was gonna say just like half. I mean, it's still good, don't get me wrong, but just half. With one shot from her grenade launcher, you're still toast. However, yeah. using some knowledge of how Xenia is coded, if you walk over the bridge backwards, she won't attack or run towards you at all. If you then turn around and aim for the head, you can take her down in seconds while she's hanging out in the background. Number 9. Kraid. Metroid Dread. After entering a lava field lair in Metroid Dread, players were excited and terrified to come face to face with the Godzilla inspired beastie Kraid. Although you face this bulbous oh, kaiju on many occasions throughout the franchise, this is the hardest incarnation by uh -uh. far. Throughout this multi phase battle, Kraid will toss out slime, fireballs, spikes, acid, boomerang claws, and an endless supply of nasty so creatures. Because of its colossal size and teeny weak spots, this battle requires a lot of precision. And since this towering space pirate has a ton of health, you're going to be well acquainted with the game over screen. If you get tired of Kraid killing you, there's an easy way to dispose of him. Just before you enter his domain, you can backtrack to obtain the bomb earlier than you thought. After that, head into Kraid's Lava. room and fight him as normal. When he stands up to reveal his guts, use the Morth Wall to roll to the left and trigger a bomb. The blast will launch Samus into Kraid's belly button in a secret cutscene where she detonates bombs until Ew. he dies, allowing you to completely bypass the rest of the fight. Number eight, cease. I mean, that's cool. Kind of cheating, but that's cool. Plus discharge, Dark Souls. Let's be real, you have to be a glutton for punishment if you're a Dark Souls fan because every From Software. That's what I tell everybody when they get uh, Elden Ring. I'm like, huh, you must hate yourself. <laughs> the title is renowned for its difficulty. Players have to accept the fact their playthrough will involve dying endlessly. But even the most yeah. So actually, I was talking to this with a friend. So, um, like example, Call of Duty pisses me off. It pisses me off, and I don't know why. It just makes me so fucking mad. When I die, I get mad. With Elden Ring, though, I, I guess because I'm ex like it's expected that you are going to fucking die. It's like, oh, I died. Okay, that's fine. Let me try again. Well, in Call of Duty, it's like, fuck, I died. So, I don't know if it's just like us. <laughs> Ooh. But that's how I feel about it. Since you are supposed to die. But in the same boat, though, you are supposed to die in Call of Duty too, right? Hmm. I don't know, but yeah, that, that pisses me off.
to avid gamers can't stand facing ceaseless discharge who appeared in the original dark what souls the because of the erratic that? camera and the inconsistent hitbox detection this molten giant is a nightmare even by soulsborne standards also ceaseless discharge can we just focus on that for a minute <laughs> that is revolting yeah. if you're tired of losing cheating is an option if you pillage his sister's corpse this magma belching behemoth will tear his arm off and start attacking you instead of retaliating dash back to the entrance and wait for him to catch up in his one-armed state ceaseless discharge won't be able to reach you if you hug the area surrounding the fog door oh, that's out of desperation fun. he'll try to jump over the pit causing him to flop gracelessly into the fire below ending the battle even though there's no logical reason that's why fun. lava <laughs> would kill a lava monster most players don't care since they just skipped one of the most yeah. annoying enemies in the game win Number win seven, Sebastiano Di Ravello Just Cause 3 Just Cause 3 kicks off with our hero Rico Rodriguez returning to his homeland to find out it's been seized by the brutal general Sebastiano Di Ravello vowing to free his people Paul Rodriguez takes it upon himself to dismantle the oppressive regime. After you destroy his export train, disable his bombs, and overtake his central command center. Oh, that's it? Easy. Tuesday morning shit, you know. You'd think the manacle dictator would surrender. Instead, Di Ravallo faces Rico on an active volcano while piloting a military helicopter that's armed to the teeth. No matter shit. how well equipped you are, you can't dent Di Ravallo's health until he turns off his Bavarium shields. But because he's attacking you when he deactivates his defenses, you're left vulnerable while shooting him. Because your most devastating attacks will only knock off a minuscule amount of health, this confrontation is quite a slog. But it doesn't have to be. While the helicopter shields Tell are me. down, you can attach grappling lines to the vehicle's base, causing it to smash into the ground this method... <laughs> what the fuck oh that was hilarious hold up i gotta watch that again that, that was great you can attach grappling lines to the vehicle's base causing it to smash into the ground this method requires astounding precision oh, but it's fuck. much faster than using lots and lots that's and funny lots as fuck. And lots of ammunition number six kefka final fantasy oh, six because of its beautiful score epic story diverse battle mechanics and vast range of playable characters you can understand why final six, fantasy six. six is often i don't believe I played much of six. I played maybe like 30 minutes to an hour. But I don't think I got deep on it at all. Regarded as the best 2D entry in the series. But FF6 is also renowned for its iconic antagonist, Kefka Palazzo. After this garish clown slash general turns himself into a deity, commits oh, genocide shit. and rips the world in half, it's easy to see why Kefka is a villain you love to hate. So when you confront Kefka, you're expecting one hell of a battle, especially since oh you God. use all 12 members of your roster to fight oh, the self-proclaimed god of magic. To be fair, Kefka has but some ruthless damn. attacks, most noticeably the fallen one, which reduces your party member's health to... 1 HP. But Kefka has a surprisingly well, small health bar and you can beat him with 8 maximum damage strikes. If that sounds too easy, you can make it even easier. By equipping a party member with cross fights, you can hit your enemy 4 times in a row. If cross fight is activated while the party member in question is equipped with 2 weapons, you can rain 8 blows on your opponent at once and by performing this technique on Kefka, he'll die moments after he appears. Number 5. No. Bloater. The That's cool. That's so easy. Last of Us. Because of its armored exterior, the Okay, I always get so much shit for this. I have never played any uh, uh, of that game, The Last of Us. I don't know, I just never was interested. But people give me shit about it. They tell me it's amazing, but... Yeah. The bloater is the toughest infected you'll come across in The Last of Us. Every time a bloater appears, you need to stop everything else you're doing and focus all your attention on this abomination if you hope to survive. If you're having trouble taking this guy down, you might think you can get some help by looking at a walkthrough. Unfortunately, nearly every guide gives you the same vague advice. Yeah, Blast away. the bloater with everything you can spare and hope for the best. But rather than wasting all your Molotov cocktails and shotgun rounds, you can take out the bloater in one shot when Ellie first encounters him. As the beast appears from a higher platform, it will start Stop for a second, giving you an opportunity to get into position. If you shoot the monster in the leg as it jumps down, you'll blow its whole limb off, giving it a quick death. Not only is this what? a much easier method to dispose of the bloater, it'll help you save a I'm ton sorry? of ammo, which you can use for future encounters. Number four. So all you have to do is shoot its fucking leg off. Well, I mean, game of the year. Tartarus, Halo 2. In Halo 2's final mission, you must face the Covenant's new leader and Jiralhani chieftain Tartarus. Although this warlord is Tartar? brutal and well armed, what makes this bout so difficult is his force field. Because of the shield's resilience, you need to endlessly blast him at point blank range with the beam rifle before you take off a single iota of his health bar. When okay. Tartarus's armor is deactivated, it'll regenerate soon after, giving you little time to do any real damage. Fortunately, there is an easier way. After Johnson blows up the door to Tartarus's lair, you need to 
to ride a banshee to a specific spot above the facility. Once you reach this area, you will automatically teleport inside the control room, allowing you to decimate the extraterrestrial despots from a safe distance from your flying That's vehicle. That's fucked up! But still, Tartarus won't bother to fight back. Instead, he spends most of the time standing still, making this battle as easy wow. as shooting alien fish in That's an alien cheese. barrel. Number three, Naval Piranha. Yoshi's Island, Super Mario World 2. Most boss encounters in Yoshi's Island begin the same way. As you enter the boss room, you'll be confronted with a regular enemy. Just before you have a chance to squish them, Bowser's right-hand Magikoopa Kamek soars in using magic his magic Koopa. to enlarge the baddie to boss-sized proportions. Although many of these encounters are easy, Naval Piranha is a tough nut to crack. Because his vulnerable <laughs> no. belly button is under the platform you're standing on, you can't hit this monstrous flower directly. Instead, yeah. you need to shoot an egg diagonally at the lower wall, causing it to skate under the platform and hit the piranha's weak spots. Not only is this maneuver trick that's too hard for fucking kids. As a kid, I would not get that shit. That's that's too much. Tricky naval piranha will constantly interrupt you by charging or summoning nipper plants. If you can't be bothered Fuck with this that. boss, you can skip it entirely. If you hit your enemy with an egg before Kamek works his literal magic on him, he'll die immediately. Kamek will then fly in yelling, Oh my, before exiting, and with that, <laughs> you'll be rewarded the key that you Oh my. Dead. You totally didn't deserve, by the way, Spot allowing up. you to continue with your adventure. Number two, General Ram, Gears of War. Early on in Gears of War, you oh, I did play Gears for like a couple of months. I had an Xbox 360 for back in the day, and I played the fuck out of Gears of War. Gears is great. That's what the new um, uh, God of War reminds me of. Not like the really the gameplay, but like the way Kratos moves, like a fucking stocky. Just tw -tw -tw. that's what like Gears of War reminds me of. You'll encounter the Locust General Ram. When you see the way this monstrosity easily overpowers Marcus Phoenix's troops, Look. you know he's a force to be reckoned with. Oh, so when the Gears corner Ram on the Tyro Pillar train in the final stage, he refuses to go down without a fight. Yeah, Throughout this said. encounter, you need to advance towards Ram, taking cover behind blocks, and because Ram is armed with a Troika heavy machine gun, he can waste you in less than a second. No matter how careful you are, Ram only needs one clean shot to take you down. Simply put, he isn't going to make this easy unless you cheese it. If you take Take cover behind a top right block, your nemesis won't be able to target you. Although most glitches require what? astounding precision, this one really doesn't. If you hide behind this block, there is a 100% chance he won't hit you, and once Ram approaches, you can wear wow. on the tyrannical monster with ease. Surprisingly, the game's remaster didn't address this, so you can pull it off in Gears wow. of War Ultimate Edition 2, just as Phoenix intended. Number 1. The Incubator too much cheese. That's way too much cheese. Sir slash Incubus, Silent Hill. Depending on whether you perform specific tasks, Silent Hill concludes with our protagonist Harry facing off against Incubus or the Incubator. Despite the fact these adversaries couldn't look more different, they pretty much rely mm. on the same strategy. Because they constantly unleash bolts of demonic lightning, you need to keep strafing around while shooting. These blasts oh, are strong enough to no. wipe out most of Harry's health, so you can't risk getting hit once. Due to Remember when this game came out and it was like... You know the big shit like oh my god look at this game it's so realistic so bloody now we look at it and it's just like oh <laughs> to your foe's minimal health, you imagine this fight wouldn't be too much trouble, at least in theory. But because you probably have limited ammunition at this point, you have to make every bullet count. And yeah, if you have I the misfortune guess. to run out of clips before battling the incubator or the incubus, the you would be totally screwed. <laughs> Ironically, this encounter is easier if you're unarmed. If you enter the final Wait. boss's domain without a single bullet to spare, the demonic deity will pop its clogs within a few seconds. As intimidating as incubus slash incubator may seem, you can destroy it with ease without firing a single shot so pacifist man love and a uh, love and peace peace and love that's all you need uh that was funny though that was funny all right yeah that's the last video we're gonna watch i don't want to get too many like videos deep you know oh my god that's so loud holy shit my bad my apologies masters all right that was cool Cool, all right, all right. So now, now what do we got planned? Uh, well, we got two options. We can either uh, go straight to playing um, Elden Ring, or we can play this. So, I've seen this quiz. It's called, um, uh, Guess the Logo. So pretty much, I, I don't know how this one works specifically, but I think it's just like you see the the logo 
and then you have to guess the name of it. Um, I think this one you just have to click on it. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be too easy. Yeah, that's too easy. Fuck it. This is a harder one. So there's this one you have to like type. And as you know, I'm not a good typer at all. So uh, this might be a little bit harder. But uh, yeah, that's the plan for right now. And then, like I said, we're going to jump into God of War. God of War, God damn it. Elden Ring, Elden Ring. Not God of War, Elden Ring, Elden Ring. Uh, but yeah, let's pop this motherfucker up. Let me load this a little. Cool. All right. So we got to do start quiz. And then I guess just type the answer. Uh, you'll see how fucking bad my spelling is in a second. <laughs> you, you'll see. All right. Uh, Nike. Oh, my God. Nike. Uh, Domino's. Yahoo. Duncan. Oh, cool. Fuck, oh, what's NB? Is that a tire brand? NB, NB. I don't fucking know. I know another one is Mr. Clean. Uh, is that Fossil? No, it's not Fossil. I just spelled it wrong. No, it's not Fossil. Fuck. Uh, I think. Craft for sure. Pampers maybe? Yeah. iTunes. That's easy. Skype. Skype. Uh, Under Armour. Oh shit. Under Armour. Tostitos? Tostitos. Yeah. I have no idea what the fucking kangaroo is. It's not Puma. <laughs> I know for sure it's not Puma. How was that bear? What's that fucking bear? He's on that ice cream. Um Klandic Klandic bar? Fuck. Um, um fuck, I might have to skip it though. Android, easy. And droid. Arby's Arby's uh Safari Rolex for sure. Michelin, right? Michelin fuck. Michelin. Yeah, okay. Fuck. Um this one. What the fuck is that? Uh what is this? What is this? I don't know that one. 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 Fuck. Um. Hold on. Hold on. Fuck. I don't know. Okay. Give up. I'm done. What was I missing? New Balance. No idea what that is. No idea what that is. Cl I would never have fucking spelled it Klondike. Hell no. Okay, I mean, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go number quiz number one. Uh, okay, let's start. Uh, shell, easy. Uh, Wikipedia, Wikipedia. Fuck, how do you spell Wikipedia? Wikipedia. Fuck. And this wiki, right? Wiki. Ah, okay. Target easy, Apple easy. If I can spell fucking Apple, that'll be easy. Pringles, easy money. Taco Bell. Uh, Adidas? I have no idea what the fuck that fish is. Pepsi. Pepsi. <laughs> Pepsi. Atari. Hi? Monster, easy, mon. I can't spell. Look, monster. PlayStation, easy. Pizza Hut, easy money. Amazon, easy. Uh, I know it's an electric company, but I have no idea what that is. Is that Adobe? 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 Fuck. Adobe? Adobe? Fuck, I don't know. I don't know what that card is. Uh, Ferrari? 
Bray? I don't know. KFC. Uh... Uh, what's that? Uh, what's that called? What's that called? It's the antivirus. It's the antivirus. Um, Webroot? No. No. I don't know. I give up. All right, what did I miss? BP, we never have guessed. Jetpunk, we never have guessed. Dolby, I wasn't close. Firestone, we have guessed. Xerox, Yam that's Yamaha. Man, I used to have a Yamaha guitar. I'm ashamed of myself. That was bad. That was pretty fucking bad. Nobody knows shit. All right, let's take number six. Fuck, okay. Coca-Cola. Cola? Uh... Harley Mountain Dew IBM M Doritos What the fuck is that? Checkers? Checkers? No, I have no idea. Uh Blockbuster. Ah Blockbuster. Nerf? Marble, Chick Fil A. Fuck, I can't spell worth the shit. Aren't those the same place? What's the first one? I don't know. Uh, that's Illuminati, right? Uh, uh, NBC, CBS, Hoover. Yeah. Yeah, Nick. Uh, Tubi, I think. Uh, I spelled Tubi. Fuck, I don't know. AOL? Easy. I don't know what that is. That's Dove? 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 Subway. Ah, fuck. Subway. Subway. Fuck, I don't think I can get the rest. Let's see, what did I miss? Big boy, no idea what that is. Lipton, Lipton T! Ah! TiVo, I was close. Tubi, TiVo. No idea what that is. I mean, that's the best I got. <laughs> I didn't get Lipton for shit. <laughs> Alright, three, three, fuck it. Let's go, next one. Go! Uh, McDonald's, Instagram, uh, fuck, what's the pen called? Fuck, can I have a pen near me? Uh, unless Wendy's, Motorola, Kodak, Kodak, uh, what's that golf thing? Uh, Cro not Crocs. Is it Crocs? No. I know that brand. I know enough. I know that brand. What's the brand? What's the brand? Hold on. I'm switching the song. I want something better. Fuck it. This works. Lacrosse? No. I don't know. We're going to skip it. LG. Chanel? I don't know. Converse. Not Converse? Ducks? Ducks? Converse? I don't know. MC, MasterCard. T Mobile. What the fuck? T Mobile! What you mean? I don't know. I'm done with it. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I have no idea what that is. Gatorade. Uh, Tide. I think it's Jigger. Jigger. 
Meester. I don't know. I don't know this shit, man. Big. Big, big. Okay, that was easy. Like, like, lacoste, lacrosse. I was close, Chanel. I was close. I couldn't spell that. Timo, will I put that? That's fucked up. No idea, no idea, no idea. Bacardi. Damn, I'm horrible at this shit. Alright, last one, last one, last one. Fuck it, last one. Nike. Wait, we did this one, right? Yeah, we did this one. Nah, we did this one, we did this one. Oh. Uh, none of these look pretty appealing, to be honest with you. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? People are really good at this shit? We did that one for sure. <laughs> That's all I see. I don't know. I don't know. It's right, general knowledge. Fuck it. Oh, I think I might be stupid. Okay, real quick. Um, fastest land animal. Tiger? Cheetah? Cheetah. Cheetah. I don't know. Oh shit, what is the most common element in Earth's atmosphere? Hydrogen? Oxygen? I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. In the score to one to... In, in the score of Love 15 was for... What the fuck is this? What actress was the song... Candle in the... How, did, how, did she, how is this common knowledge? This is not common knowledge. What is 6 plus 5 times 4 plus 3? Oh my Jesus Christ. Okay, that one for, for sure can get right. So that's 20. That's 6. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, so it's 33. Oh, I got one. Hell yeah. We're in. We're in this bitch. Who's here brush into flames while filming the pips? What? Who's the Who's Lord of the Rings? Gandalf? A Hobbit? I don't know this shit. What country traditionally produces port wine? Is that Italy? France? I don't fucking know. <laughs> What British TV show co-created by Rick Gar has been replicated in nine different countries? The Office? Oh, yeah, just because of fucking British. That's that's all I know. Other than Jerusalem, what notable biblical city started with the letter Jer? Jeremiah. I don't fucking know. What is street address of the British? Am I British? It's America! What is it? Uh, what condiments is something called Japanese horse horseradish? Horseradish? I don't know. Whatever flows parallel of the if if uh, what the fuck is that word? Euphorides? Euphorides? According to the idiom, what city wasn't built in the day? Uh uh Rome. Yeah. What city oh fuck. What city is often pronounced? New Orleans. Oh, New Orleans. Bam. Easy money. What Asian country was named after a Spanish king? Uh, I, I don't know. What rule is G... Who ruled in Gerontar... What the fuck is that word? Gerontocracy. I don't know. What Scottish Highlands compl competition could be described as log throwing. Uh, log rolling? I don't know this shit. This is so hard. How the fuck is this common? I got 20%. I don't 
I'm dumb as shit. Average score is 12? I was close with Cheetah. I was, I was put nitrogen. No, oxygen in. Yeah, put nitrogen. Oh, love 15. Ah, I should have gotten that one. I would never have guessed Marilyn Monroe. Abraham Lincoln would never fucking guessed that. Michael Jackson would never have guessed that. No idea what that is. No idea. Jesus Christ. This was fucking bad. Best answer? The Office for some reason. But then New Orleans. Cavitas. Cavitas? What the fuck is Cavitas? Holy shit. I feel stupid now. <laughs> I gotta lie, I feel dumb as shit. Oh, hell no. Alright, we're done. <laughs> we're fucking done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Fuck that. Fuck that. That was horrible. Never let me do that again, please. If I ever pop this bitch out again, just fucking slap me in the face. Pretty please. Oh my god. That was so bad. Never again. <laughs> I feel dumb as shit, bro. Uh, I never said I was smart, but also never said I was dumb as shit. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that was horrible. That was horrible. That was honestly horrible. Ah. Uh, okay. Now that we look dumb as shit. Um, how about some Elden Ring? Yeah. So I have to tell you. I have to tell you something though. Hold on. Let me get in focus. I gotta talk to you real quick. I cheated. I'm sorry. I play some Elden Ring off stream. I couldn't help myself. I was looking at somebody play it. And I saw a couple of things they did that I wanted to do. So I played. I played a couple of hours off stream. But I didn't beat any bosses. I didn't do. I'm waiting for you guys. But I did find another boss. While bullshitting around in some down area. I found. Uh, I don't know. That ugly looking skull. That's like in the, the lake of rot. I found him. Yeah. So, you know, at least I waited. But yeah, I cheated. I cheated. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I promise. I promise. Pinky promise. Pinky promise. But with that out of the way, though, we can jump into my Elden Ring. Oh, let me change this monitor real quick. Bam, 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 bam. That song is good though. Alright. Let's get in this bitch. <laughs> Okay, also I did something else. Okay, don't get mad at me, but I changed my armor again too. Because I bought this. I bought Redon's armor. It's pretty cool, right? I didn't know you could buy it. Until I saw somebody do it. Oh, that's so gross. But yeah, I saw somebody do it. And I was like, I want to play this. That looks cool. So I got it. I got it. Also got this cool new attack. I didn't even drink up for that one. <laughs> I got a cool attack. That takes a uh oh it takes a lot of health. But it damages me. This. See my health? It goes down every time I use it. But it's a good attack. Why is it good? I don't know, but it's good though. Um yeah, so I'm in front of the the spider looking boss, like I said. Um, I went inside of a coffin, like, I, I, I don't know how to explain this, to be honest with you. Hold on. Is there any way I can go, like, up? Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. I've been waiting to get into this place. But no, um, I was right here, right? Uh, I, I made it to this location, to this area. I went through all of it, and I got to the Lake of Rot. 
and when I was like, I, I was right here, I went all the way to this side. I just found like a couple of items, but then when I was running away, cause the enemies were too fucking strong for me and there's so many of them, I saw a coffin just chilling right here, right? And it said, get in. I was like, fuck it. I'll get in the coffin. Got in the coffin. And sure enough, he just do all the way here, which is kind of crazy to be honest. But yeah, that's how we end up here. And uh, I, I, I fought it one time because I didn't know what was coming, but I didn't beat him. And I stopped playing because I didn't want to do it off stream. But here we are. Here we are. So that's the plan. Kill this motherfucker. And then uh, I wanted to do something else too after. I'll tell you in a second. But at least that's the plan though. Um, Let's see. Let's see how well we do now. One thing, do I have to get my monies back? Where's my monies? Oh, fuck. I forgot he did that. See, I only fought him one time. So I don't even know his pattern. Oh, fuck. Oh, you dick. Okay, okay. Now we get close to him. Then we hit him with the blood sword. Look at that attack. Dodge, dodge. Woo! Dodge again. Fuck, fuck. Heal up, heal up. Okay, heal up, heal up. Can I ride the horse? I can't. Fuck. Oh, did I miss him? Ah, oh, it's gonna, ah, oh, it's gonna blow. Fuck, I forget he blows. Oh, fuck. Ah, fuck, am I dead? Am I dead? Fuck. Fuck. Okay. Uh, to be honest with you, I wasn't ready for that. Uh. All right, let's try again. Ah, oh, my money's all the way the fuck over there. So far. All right, fuck it. Let's go. Where is it? Oh, fuck. Okay. Fuck! That one's faster than fucking Radon's. Takes a while to get to him. <gasps> he dodged the Ah, oh, I lost my fucking money. It was like 17k! Fuck! Fuck! I'm sad now. I'm gonna kill this motherfucker. I'm gonna kill this bitch. I'm gonna find out his name. I'm gonna fucking kill this motherfucker. Fucking. And still. Oh! Okay. We're good. We're good. Actually, let's do this. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck! Okay. Not what I want, eh? But I want to do this. Oh, fuck. Hell no. Let's summon you out. Oh, I also upgraded my Mimic tier. To a fucking badass. <sighs> Come on, Mimic. Me and you, buddy. Yeah, he's gonna miss the second one. Nice, nice. Gonna go to him, attack him. Then blood attack. Then blood attack again. Can we do a third time? Yeah. Can we do it a third time? Fourth time. Oh, nice. Fifth time. Fuck. Heal up, heal up. Bit, bit. Ah, uh, it's gonna explode. Oh, fuck, no. Oh, now he's gonna explode. All right, bitch. All right, bitch. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, hell no. Ah, he's gonna fucking explode, damn it. All right, all right, he's almost dead.
fuck? Oh, fuck. Alright, heal up, heal up. Got one more, one more. Bam, son. He dead. Third try. Bit. Oh, legend. Oh, he was a legend. That was a legend. Yeah, that was cool though. I think I'm just like overpowered, cause like I said, like well. So I didn't tell you the whole truth. I upgraded my weapon to to like plus ten, I believe. Eleven. Okay, okay. I might have upgraded my weapon off stream. I might have upgraded my mimic tier. I might have found a cool move. But hey, it's, it's still me and you. It's always been me and you. Remember that. It's me and you, buddy. All day. Every day. But hey, you know, third try. We'll take it. I also found... Uh, well, I didn't find. I saw, like, uh, uh, the guy. He beat... Oh, what the fuck? is sealed. Um, The two gargoyles. I want to try to fuck with the gargoyles next. Just to see. Just to see. But why is this locked though? Didn't I just beat this motherfucker? Do I have to beat something else? Why is it sealed? You cannot process without the ring of oath. What the fuck is the ring of oath? Hold up. Ring of oath. Ring of oath. Elden ring. Oh, what the fuck? It's an item that tells you you're going to pass through the barrier. Okay. The Ring of Oath doesn't exist. Huh? Oh, Dark Moon Ring. Okay, okay, okay. So, run the side quest. Okay. Okay. If you didn't this card, this game, then it's going to be after that. Okay. You don't technically have to complete that during a prior to reaching this point, but if you haven't done it yet, <laughs> Great Library. Open the locked chest of Rena's left and close Darkman Ring. This is the old ring. ring. Okay. So I have to go to um uh Renala. Renala. Where the fuck is Renala again? She is okay, we're gonna leave a marker here. Because Renala is here right not that one at the gate Renalis library that should be the one hi Renala is this it but it's locked how am I supposed to open it You need to have already found Bladen uh, region defeat Dark Gaze Redon, which I did. Found the Finger Slayer Blade in the Eternal City and flipped the Cathedral Study Hall. Traveled to uh, uh, the Rise via Ramus Rise and defeat the Blim Bli Gleaming for Shadow. What? Ramus Rise? Did I do that one? Baffle Shadow. What does a Baffle Shadow look like? Because I beat everything on this side, right? Baffle Shadow. Let's look it up real quick. Images. I did not. How do I fight the shadow? Okay, before you even need the oath, you need to have progress to Rami's quest. You'll need to have already found Bloody at the south. Who the fuck is Bloody? Oh my god, there's so much to do. It's not that easy. Okay. Ah, fuck. Started at the East Library, a little north of the Ministry. 
Okay, inside. Lift and go down. Okay. Where's that at? Um, begin to have a section for now. You find a huge free support. Right in the middle of the Go ahead. Huh. Okay. So we cannot do this yet. What, baby? With what? Tell me. Baby, tell me. Okay, so we're going to spot number five. This way, okay. Let's go to number five. Because I did some of the quest line for... Ah, shit. Oh, shit. Run, run. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh fuck! Ah, okay. 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 I know where this is. Well, not really, but. Uh. He's heading through the well of Midswood in the underground and asked to meet him there. Go to the East Limb Grave. There's no side of grace. Need to just pick up and write. Okay. You find. The Sophia River well, a uh, little north of the whatever, whatever. Okay, go to the lift, go down. That's what I did. Sophia River is the bit of exploring you can do, but you can only reach a handful of sites at this point. Make sure you weigh beggarly east and north. Okay. So, uh, do I not have the map here? Because I did explore this side, but where the other uh, deer was. Like the stronger deer, I haven't gotten to this deer. Oh, I didn't even get a map for that deer because I did have those. Where is the map? Yeah, where is the map? No, just not the map. That's cool, but that's not the map. Okay, I'm gonna get so much money, apparently, but I would like a map. That would be great. I mean, we can explore this area either way, right? We don't. I mean, eventually we'll find it. I do know there's uh, another one of those deer fights, like the ones we already beat, but a weaker one. Because this one doesn't uh, regenerate its health. Hi, Silver. Oh, fuck. Blood attack. I do like the blood attack, though. Pretty dope. Blood attack. Oh, you did. Oh, fuck. Alright, alright, dead. Blood attack! Yeah, I really like that blood attack. It's an uh, Ash of War, if you were wondering. I just, like, uh... Hi, baby. My daughter just got on chat. It's adorable. Alright, let's take, let's take some time to explore over here. Uh, I did miss some stuff over there. So I guess I can drop down. You can ride the horse. 
Let's get some plants. Call me Hufflepuff because I do herbology. Nice. Speaking of Hufflepuff, um, <laughs> have you guys heard all that stupid drama happening with uh, the Howard's Legacy game? How uh, people are like really salty streamers are playing it. <laughs> so they're like, uh, I wouldn't say boycotting. I was just talking so much shit about people who actually stream the game because you know JK Rowling is a piece of shit so they assume anything Harry Potter being a piece of shit and uh, yeah and because of that like somebody made a website uh, called uh, who's uh, who's streaming that wizard game or some shit like that that way you can like annoy the fuck out of people or like talk shit to the people who uh, play uh, Howard's Legacy on stream Which I think is fucked up. It was like, you know, like... Uh, like, it, I don't know. I, I like Harry Potter. Not to the point that some people do. But I think it's like, it's, it's cool. But, yeah, people are thinking it way too far. With the whole, like, you know, talking shit about creators who just, like, want to play that game. Because to be honest with you, like, I really wanted to, like, buy the game so I could play it. But... Like, I, I'm not a big streamer, not even, like, close to, like, of one at all. So, to me, it's, like, I, I don't have a big uh, audience that will, like, give me shit about it. But I'd rather, like, not give them a reason to start talking shit just because of a Harry Potter game, you know? I don't know. To me, it's just really stupid that people are getting uh, so salty about, you know, a video game. But, you know, to each his own, people will get booty hurt about everything, so not really surprised there, to be honest. Yeah, so many of this, uh, do kisses. Take it. That's fine. Just throw it away, baby. Oh. Um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, that's fine. You just have to just hold on. You have to hold on though, because I can't pause it. Okay. Yeah, but okay, give me a second. Easy, easy. Oh my god, it's soft. Oh my god, it's soft. Oh my god, hello, hello. Okay, I thought it turned off. Oh no! Dodge. Go back. Heal. Bit. Go again. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. They came out of nowhere. I saw like two, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's not bad. I'll deal with those real quick. Fuck no. Like eight came out of nowhere. All right, I think we're like, oh, wait, no, there's, oh, should we go in there or we stay out here? Wait a minute. That goes up, but I just came down. Okay, then let's, let's go this way real quick. Oh, that's cool. A poop beetle. Oh, I missed it. Blood. Nice. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, that's fine. Get some health back. That's cool. Uh, let me clear this out real quick. Then I, I gotta do something real quick. Shouldn't take long. Oh, I mean. Oh, that's... That's the only place to go? Cause I, oh, it can go up there. How do I go up there? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Don't die. Okay. Okay, so I guess I do have to go over there. Uh, okay. Well, we'll figure that in a second. Nope, 
Okay, make it this way. Do I have to go the long way around? I guess I do have to go all the way around. That's fine. Hey, Randomo! Oh, cool. I thought that was in the bottom floor. <laughs> oh, easy, we made it. Blood. Smack. Oh no, run. Oh shit. Blood. All right, heal up. Throwing daggers, nice. Is there anything over here? Uh, I don't see anything. Okay. Please don't fall. I'm begging to you. Oh, there's no item. I got tricked by this. Dicks. What does it say? I'm gonna download it. Try grass. Poor. That was trash. I got you baited so hard. Oh. There's a hole. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't just like die all the way okay step one we got it step two oh shit it's in step two. Oh. get off the horse so we can get this item nice where are you where are you right there skadoosh oh fuck i messed up it's fine he's trapped let's get it boys nice we got it what do we get oracle bubbles nice we'll never use them but nice all right, all right. I'm stalling. Give me a second. BRB, BRB. All right, I'm back. I'm back. All right. Ugh. Cool. Ah, my light is fucked up. Damn it. God damn it. Damn, Bobby. Fucking light is fucked up. Ugh. Light better? Yeah, light better. Light better. Yay. Okay. Ah. Where were we? 
we were uh oh yeah going up another lift i mean i think it's up but it might just go down i don't know we'll see because we got everything else not the horse okay let's go it's taking us back up that's weird that's weird Ugh. <laughs> so disgusting. All right, let's see. Uh, uh, let's go this way. What's over here? Another lift? Okay. Be wary of liar. Is something coming down? What the fuck was this for? Alright, kind of pointless, but... Nothing is pointless in Elden Ring. Cool. Oh, shit, crap! I stole this babies! Okay. Okay. Side of grace. Nice. Don't I have to, like, light up some uh, fire locations or some shit? Oh, that's where I can level up. Oh, by one. Cool. Um, Yeah, we were stacking up bigger for right now. Because I need a lot more fucking health. Okay, so here's one. I believe that's where the actual deer is, right? We'll see. Oh, map. Nice. Okay. So where the fuck is this person again? Hold up, hold up. Uh, no, no, wrong way. He is somewhere over here. Uh, we'll figure it. Out. We'll we will figure it out later, because I do want to beat this fucking deer, because I beat the first deer, and this one's the weaker deer. So, let's beat this mofo first. Then we can find the the other guy. <gasps> dumbass! <laughs> fucking dumbass! Jesus Christ! That was dumb. That was dumb as fuck. <laughs> ah. Just don't fucking die again, you dumb piece of shit. I swear to God. That's me talking to me. Ah, uh, where's my stuff? Where's my shit at? All right. Shit. Yeah, that's 30 grand right there. Shit. Don't want to waste that. All right. Um, I wonder. Oh, they do not. Okay. I was hoping they had some kind of like, I don't know, placements on the map. So I could see uh, uh, what the torches were. But I don't think there's anything special about them. Yeah, they just look like torches. There's eight of them, I believe. So, the, oh my god, my nose itches. Okay, so that's one. Oh, this guy's. We should be able to, like, at least stand our ground against him now, right? Oh. Does that kill me? Oh. That's cool. What's over here? Okay, let's go this way. 
Oh, item. Cool. Uh, I mean, that's cool, I guess. Um, I think that's the location where Ram is supposed to be, right? Ah, fuck. Yeah, I'm just gonna teleport. Because I don't want to die. Because it means I have to come back later. I don't want to come back later. Ah, oh, fuck. Everything itches. Okay. Um, let's go this way. How cool! I see a torch. No, not a torch. Never mind. I thought that was a torch. It's not. It's nut. Is that a torch? Oh, that is a torch. Neat. Neato. All right, motherfucker. Oh, fuck. All right, I need to heal. I need to heal. Got too cocky. Got too bukkake. All right, fuck you, blood. All right, we got two down. How many did I say? Eight? Fuck. Okay, that's two. Bam. Okay. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Where does this take me? Oh, yes. I just want to see. I just want to see. If it takes me somewhere else, I can look. Ugh. I can just come back. Where the fuck did it take me? Oh. Uh, it just... Oh, it took me to the other side. <gasps> I've been looking for this spot. Oh, that's dope. Bet. I've been looking for that for a while. Uh, okay, okay, okay. How about this? Let's go back again. Since we know where it takes us. So we don't get confused. Let's go back. And then we'll uh, figure our way our way around. Alright, alright. Uh fuck this lightning bolts. They suck. Oh, hell no. Run away! Run, run, run! Okay. So we're not going that way yet. Not yet. Let's go around this way. Ooh, free stuff. Uh, no torch over here, bud. Ah, oh, what the fuck? Attack him! Oh, don't kill my horse, you dick. I almost killed my horse. Oh, fuck that. Uh, there's one right there. Cool. That's three. Right? Yeah, that's three. They're shooting at me. Oh shit, I missed it. I literally only came this way to get this fucking item. Come on. Ooh. No idea what that is, but ooh. Oh shit. Ninjas over here. Alright, uh, let's keep going. Uh, fire. Fire. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's one right here. I see it. Oh fuck. Okay. Woo. Oh, fuck you. I right, bitch. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, that's four, I believe. Actually, yeah, fuck it. Let's kill all of them. Let's get some monies for it.
Yeah, they're not strong, but they fucked me up. Now with my blood attack. Um, see more torches over here. Oh, neat. Uh, I think that's one right there. Yeah, that's one right there. Let's get that one. Oh, fuck. And I think this one right there. That looks like it. And we can go up there. Hey, let's go up there after. Oh, shit. Alright, you want to die too. Blood attack! So easy. Not gonna lie though, without the blood attack, I would I would be kind of like, I wouldn't be screwed, but it wouldn't be that easy. That's for fucking sure. But that blood attack is fucking sweet. All right, let's go up. Can go up. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna say uppies, uppies. Oh, what a dick! <laughs> Alright, let's kill it. That was fun. Anything? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I get his axe. A magical axe. Uh, oh, even more uppies. Is somebody gonna come down again? Let's go try it out. Uh, he's about to. Can I beat him? Can I beat him? Yeah, I beat him. Blood attack! Oh, that's it? Slither of meat. Oh, fuck the crabs. Oh, shit. That hurt me? Okay. How many are we missing? Because I honestly don't even know how many we got. Oh, there's one right there. So we'll get that one. After getting this fucking beetle. Square off. That's the portal. Okay, cool. Um, okay, get out. Oh, here's another one. Oh, so many rats and shit. Okay. All right. <laughs> He's doing the dance. No idea what the fuck he was doing. They were just popping squats. Cool, I got so many arrows for the bows I don't use. That's dope. Keep him coming. Oh shit. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh you dick. Oh you double dick. Alright. Oh what a dick. Oh fuck. All right, blood attack. Blood attack. Oh, fuck. Blood attack. Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck. Oh. Damn. Okay. I was not expected to get gang raped. I was hoping for a consensual, you know, act, but no, I got gang raped. That's cool. Um, yeah. All right, fuck. Let's go. Go get our shit back. I got too cocky. Boo, cocky. Oh, fuck.
Oh, I see a door over there. To the left. Yeah, right there. Okay. Let's get our stuff back first. Ew. Gross. Okay, let's get our stuff back. And then, um... After lighting that candle that fucking killed us, we'll see, uh... Oh, shit! Jesus Christ, he killed my horse. What a dick. Okay, where did I die? I died somewhere up there. Ah, I see it, I see it. And uh, why did it come back? Oh shit! This motherfucker sniped me! Holy shit! That was a good shot though. Alright, we're right here. Oh, they're popping squats. Bet. That's even better. Oh, that's a fat fucking rat. Now, let's kill the fat fucking rat first. Oh, fuck. Oh, nice. They was popping squats. For free money. That's dope. I'll take it. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck you. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. Why is he such a pain? All right. Power somewhere. Oh, bit. All right, we opened it. Uh. So now we can fight that deer. Oh wait, is this? Yeah, this is the place. This is the way the gargoyles were, or are. Okay, cool. Because I know it's like a hidden place. Okay, no secret door. Good to know. Oh, fuck. Is it worth trying to get that item? Oh, cool. Never mind. Right here. It might be worth trying, trying to get it. And we'll make it. Hooja! Fuck, we didn't make it. Okay. We need the horse. Can we summon the horse? Oh, we can't bit. All the way. Nice. And can we... Oh, fuck. That's such a small ledge. It's almost unlegible. Ah, oh, yeah, worth it. For sure. Come on, yeah. Alright, all right, come on, come on. Yeah. Okay, okay. Alright, alright. We made it. We're alive. We're good. We are good. We're so good you can call me Gouda. <laughs> alright, alright. Um, before we go that way, though, I do want to finish exploring this place. And if I'm not mistaken, this should be a side of grace this side Skidoosh. 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 ah fuck you should be up here oh this dick oh fuck you fuck you buddy we made it we made it no oh! 
Alright. Uh now that we got this, let's go back over here so we can beat that the deer, yes, that deer. Oh dear. Yes, yeah, right there. Alright, we're gonna beat the deer. We're gonna take the elevator up high. And then ah, fuck. Should we do the gargoyles first? Or should we do the the other thing first? I forgot what it was. Uh the other thing. You know the other thing, the the the, <sighs> the elevator that takes us up high, takes us somewhere. Mimic tier, and then you. Yeah, because this guy doesn't regenerate health, which is the best part. One, two, three. Ah, fuck. Oh shit. Woo! I missed the last one. It's all good. Oh, that blood attack is so fucking OP. Ah, fuck you. Okay. Let's heal. Can I ride my horse? No, no horse. Oh, yeah, he's gonna die. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, I'm gonna die. That's fine. Oh, fuck! No, heal up, heal up. This way? Ah, he got stuck. Nice! Blood, blood! Ah, fuck! Oh, fuck! Alright, blood, blood, blood! Yeah! Get closer. Alright, one more attack. He's dead. Oh yeah, he's dead. He came right to me. Blood! Oh! Easy! That was easy. That's cool. Uh, now what? We beat the deer. Oh, there it is. I was looking for that. All right, um, before anything, though, let me, let me see this real quick. So, Ronnie's quest. I did Ronnie's quest, right? Yeah, I talked to Ronnie. Okay. Okay, I did that. You drop into the region. It's what you can do, but you can only reach him full size. Mm -hmm. You'll find behind one of the huge bridge supports. Okay, so we beat the deer. That was easy money. Behind one of the pillars. Over here. Okay. Well, how many ruins do I have? 46? Not enough. Well, actually, I did get a shit ton of uh, those. Uh, yeah, let's double up. Let's bring our uh, health higher again. Eventually, we have to bring our strength up so we can use a different weapon. But at least for right now, let's... Um... <sighs> ah, fuck, I didn't use them. Let's uh, keep pop pumping our vigor. At least for now. Easy, easy, okay. Easy. Damn. This, 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 this. Into 
inventory. I don't even know how many we need. Let's see, we have 54. Oh, more than enough. Perfect. Bigger. Yes. Okay. Bit. Now, just in case if I die, I'll be fine. Because, you know, I'll be sad if I lose all my shit. Turtles! Yeah, I don't kill turtles. I'm a turtle lover, not a turtle hater. So, um... Uh, uh, where is it over here? They said behind one of the pillars. What pillars are they talking about? Oh. Whoa. I did not mean to do that, by the way. That was pure fucking dumb luck. One item. Ah, I don't care about that. Okay, let's keep going. Death? For sure death. Okay. Uh, okay, let's go back again. Oh, can we go up this way? Oh, that we can. Neat. But, now that I'm, now what I'm looking for. Yeah, because I do remember doing Remy's quest. <laughs> what? Okay. Blyd. Blyd. Elden Ring. Where the fuck is his location? Location. It's blind, right? Not by one of the huge bridge supports. What? Bridge supports? What the fuck are they talking about, bridge supports? I really want to know what they mean by the bridge supports. Uh. Oh shit. Oh shit. I went the wrong way. I passed it. Oh shit, don't die. Don't want to lose a whole 300 runes. That was stupid. Ah, uh, they're up high though, fuck. Whatever. Try to get those later. Behind one of the supports. But I looked. I didn't see him. What supports? What are you talking about, Willis? I want the supports. I think they're just fucking with me. Honestly. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm dead. That's fine. But what support? That's what I want to know. Okay. Alright, fuck this place. We'll try to find you later. Um, Let's go up that. So we can just get... The side of grace is up high because I've been trying to get to that location for a fucking while. And the only way to get to that location is through here. Oh, that's cool. I'll take it. Uppies. 
Oh, fuck. Okay. Luckily, I just got one, so. That was luck. Alright, let's go up east. There you go. Ugh. Missing a forty. Okay. Um. I do have to do something in a second. Damn, that's it. Whatever. What? Is OBS tripping? No, OBS is fine. I don't know. I don't even know, man. Kind of sad. Whatever. All right, we got side of grace, which we've been looking for for a while. Now we can come back over here and go to the gargoyles. Eight forty. Okay. Um, I have to do something real quick though. So how about? Wait, what's happening? Oh, bit rate is tripping again. Whatever. Um, let me just find the video. Oh, Charlie just dropped the video. Charlie Nader. Uh, oh, there's this new guy I found. Fuck, what is what's his name? Something treasure. I don't know, but he makes like bomb fucking uh, Elden Ring videos. Yeah, this guy. Can you beat? Amazing chest. How easily can you beat Elden Ring as a tree set? Oh, fuck. It's true. You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become a villain. And today we all are right, be right back. villain. The Tree Sentinel is every new player's worst nightmare. And in this video, I'm going to be taking control of it and using it to fight some of the game's most iconic bosses. The rules of this challenge are simple. We play on max new game difficulty and this video will not end until we defeat the Elden Beast. Before we begin, let me know which boss you guys want to see next by leaving a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe because YouTube doesn't always recommend all right, if we lose this ditto, then that's going to be pretty embarrassing since my AI is way better than his. Let's step on him. Let's step on him. Oh, great minds think alike, I guess. Let's get this guy out of here. Nice. Finish him off. Boom. Easy. Feels so good. Look, I could just knock down trees by just walking through them. Hello, market something of a boss myself. Compared to my last run where I played as a revenant, we actually have twice as many moves. Because we're in max new game difficulty, stance breaks are much harder to pull off. But since we're playing as an enemy, that goes for the opponent as well. I have no idea why the Stormvale Castle overlay came up here. That was pretty random. But after stomping Margit with my horse, something unexpected happened. What the? After another shield slam and a stomp, Margit was down. Wait, wouldn't that also make him the Lord of me? All right, let's bring in the Tree Sentinel. Whoops, that is the wrong enemy. Going into this fight, I knew I wasn't going to be able to tank Godric, but fortunately, his arena is very spacious. Yo, am I stuck on a tree? What's going on? Once I got him into phase two, it became clear that his 17,616 HP was nothing to scoff at. As annoying as he is to fight though, he's actually kind of fun to play as. How do I do the roll? There it is. 
<laughs> In my rematch, I discovered something that I never seen a tree sentinel do before. Oh, I have a heal. Wait, is this healing me? It heals him too. Oh no. <laughs> That's not good at all. Even though the heal worked on Godric too, this meant that if I could pull it off without letting him walk into it, then I could artificially increase my own bulkiness to match his. This made a huge difference. And once I got him back into phase two, the fight was pretty much over. As far as the second great rune goes, there is absolutely no way we're beating Riker, so Volcano Manor is out of the question. Instead, as a tree sentinel, our best bet is Renala, and you're about to see why. Before that though, we're gonna have to put this dog down. I hate how small this rune is. The tree sentinel is not nearly as mobile as the red wolf, and fighting this thing feels like you're trying to squash a bug. Fortunately, each attack does like a million damage, so once you do manage to catch the wolf, it isn't really much of a threat. The shield bash puts in work. By this point, I started to get more comfortable with the tree sentinel's movement, and it really paid off. With that said, I did make a mistake here by going for the heal, and I'm pretty sure that stopped me from killing her in one cycle. Going into phase two, the Tree Sentinel was made for this fight. I know what you're all thinking, and no, you can't deflect Renala's Kamehameha with Golden Retaliation because it technically isn't a projectile, but the defense bonus we get while we're using it is phenomenal. Once I defeated Renala and acquired the second Great Rune, it was time to take on my brother in gold. And no, I'm not referring to Gold Free. A lot of people see the Draconic Tree Sentinel as a direct upgrade to the Tree Sentinel, but I promise you that is not the case. As a fervent Tree Sentinel apologist, I can assure you that they both come with their own fair share of strengths and weaknesses. While the Draconic Tree Sentinel has a much higher HP stat and a very understandable 40% resistance to lightning, the regular Tree Sentinel has a 40% resistance to holy and much more defensive utility overall. Although I did lose the first fight, it was still very competitive, and I knew that if I made a few adjustments, then I could easily come out on top. No! As it turns out, my shield does a ridiculous amount of poise damage, and despite how menacing the tree sentinels look, they actually only have about 80 poise, which makes getting stance breaks super easy. When it came to this fight, as long as I played to my strengths and blocked whenever I needed to, then the draconic tree sentinel just couldn't keep up. Gold Free, on the other hand, was another story. Oh my god! I can't move! I think this is the hardest fight of the run. And this fight presented a very unique problem. Because the arena was so small, anytime I used the healing circle, Gold Free would almost certainly benefit from it too. And while I could block his attacks to survive, I just couldn't dish out enough damage to actually hurt him. After a lot of attempts, a lot of patience, and a little mining off screen, I eventually beat him. Finally. More got, more like less got. Am I right? Am I right? Yeah? Morgai isn't particularly difficult, and the Tree Sentinel's shield continues to surprise me. We're able to block pretty much all of his attacks, but the problem with Morgai is his agility. Oh, he's trying to get behind me. When he goes for the Holy Blades, I'm able to interrupt him with a satisfying shield slam, and after regrouping for a moment, Morgai goes down in just one try. First try, Morgai, let's go! The Fire Giant is where many of these runs go to die. Going into it, I didn't think I'd be able to block the giant's attacks, but I was wrong. What this fight boils down to is a war of attrition. Where most enemies fail, the Tree Sentinel excels in this fight when you consider the fact that he can heal, at least in my theoretical experiment where he tries to become the Elven Lord. Unfortunately, you can't reflect many of the fire attacks, but that's not too big of an issue as long as you can keep him on his belly. After a somewhat heated fight, the fire giant is finally extinguished. A lot of people complain about this fight, but I just don't get it. As long as you have the right build, then the Godskin duo is... Whoa! Was I recording? I was. What was that? Alright, so the Black Flame does percentage-based damage. That's not good. Going back through the footage, it looks like it still gets reflected, but we end up taking more damage than he does. Let's try a different approach. Haters will say it's cheating, but the Draconic Tree Sentinel is technically still a Tree Sentinel, so we can use him in this run. Abusing the pillars in the arena and taking advantage of his lightning attacks help make the squad more manageable, but if we get hit by that rolling attack then it's pretty much curtains because we get no iframes when it connects. 
Once I kill both, I set up a field of lightning for when they respawn, but the noble refuses to go down without a fight. Luckily, this sentinel has fireballs though, so yeah, GG. I'm not proud of that, but it had to be done. Malekith. <gasps> Gronk is a walk in the park, but Malekith is another story. Destin death is absolutely terrifying, and under no circumstances should you get hit by it. In my Royal Revenant run, I had Poison to help me deal with this fight, and in my Melania run, I had Scarlet Rot. This time around, I had Pillars. Yes, the Pillars make a return in this fight, and for good reason too, Malekith is a nightmare. It's like he's capable of killing gods or something. In spite of his lore though, he is still no match for the Draconic. No. Malekith, please. Malekith, please. Just die. Yes. Yes. Oh, that was so close. I never thought I'd be saying this, but Gideon is a problem. He's still going. Trying to joust this guy from a horse is one of the worst experiences I have ever had in a run. And in hindsight, I should have just switched back to the tree sentinel and used golden retaliation for his spell. The sentinel's hip check would have also been useful here given that it's a fast and reliable way of hitting small targets, but I discovered a much more humiliating way to beat him instead. <laughs> After suffering through Gideon, first phase Godfrey was a joke. As a boss, we don't have to worry about getting grabbed, so Horalu isn't too scary either. And he actually loses most of his resistances in this phase, that includes lightning. For Radagon, I switched back to the regular Tree Sentinel because Golden Retaliation is the perfect counter to magic. There's just one problem though, it's holy. Given Radagon's Sacred Disposition, this was a terrible idea and I was gonna need a bigger Halberd or an Axe in this case. Radagon is kinda hard to hit. It's nice, nice. No! How, how did that miss? Comparatively though, he is not that hard to stance break. There it is. Oh, wait, we can do this! Oh, 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 oh. Please, dagger, please! Oh, nice! Oh, wait, I, I won! I did it! Oh my GG, god! GG, GG, well go. done. How much HP do we have? 128 <laughs> HP. I imagine this is what the final fight would have been like if you could actually ride Torrent. The lightning field completely decimates the Elden Beast. Normally, it's really annoying when he swims away, but that's when the fireballs come in. We're fast enough to outrun the Elden Stars, and after dodging the triple rings... Let's try it now. Go, go, go. <laughs> there it Jeez. is. That's it. First try, Elden Bees. Let's go. In this video, I'll be taking on every Remembrance boss while playing as one of the most difficult bosses in the entire game. Melania. Thanks to the help of a brilliant modder by the name of Luke Yui, I am now able to play as any enemy or NPC in Elden Ring. The mod isn't perfect yet, and I won't be able to play through in the traditional sense because enemies can't inherently interact with doors, ladders, or NPCs for that matter. I'll be timing each fight and aggregating the times at the end so that we can compare the final time of this run to the final time of other runs when I do the same thing as other bosses. So if you think that's something you'd be interested in, make sure you subscribe, leave a comment letting me know who you want to see me play as next. Should I play as Rikerd, Astol, Godfrey, please say Godfrey. In case you've been living under a rock or just haven't gotten to Melania yet in your own playthrough, she has never known defeat. And for good reason too, the lifesteal in her attack is really hard to deal with and the fact that she recovers all of her poise within about five and a half seconds of hitting her is borderline cheating. On top of that, she has one of the most devastating attacks in the entire game, Waterfowl Dance which completely shreds players and bosses alike, as you'll see in this run. Her HP is about 18k in her first phase, and she's sitting at a respectable 80 poise with some nice resistances to boot. I think Melania has all the tools necessary for an S tier time, but what you need to oh remind is that I'm bad at this game, which is why I always play as bosses. This gameplay will be far from optimal, and that's okay. We're just doing this for fun. My bad, my bad, my bad. Things, so if that sounds good to you, let's jump right in. But first... What happened? To the full beater plate? Holy crap. That was fast. Ah, oh, okay. We're back on it though. We're back on it. Nothing. 
Yeah. Alright, baby, eat, please. Okay, give it a second. Alright, so we got what we needed. We killed the deer. Uh, couldn't find the wolf guy, which is fine. Um, What do we have to do next? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We gotta go over there. I passed it. Okay. Yeah, because it's a secret pathway, right? To um, uh, the, 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 the gargoyles. Which I don't know if I'm ready for it, to be honest with you, but I mean. We're gonna try either way. Yes, yeah, this way. Okay. Ruin arc, nice. Um, escape time though, so let's put some light on. I'm sorry. I could have swore there was there was the way back here for the gargoyles, right? Did I go in the wrong place? <laughs> Fuck. Uh, okay, let's look around. Where is it? I knew it was back here, but... No? Yeah, it's back here. No secret ahead, therefore paste the message. Bitch, hell no. Where is it? I could have swore it was right there. Where is it? Ah, fuck. Wait, hold up. Um, let's Google this shit out real quick. Uh, double guard oil and ring. Yeah, I had to get there. Yeah, you had to write a coffin and that for sure. Jeez. Okay. Okay. So the map says here. Well, still left. Go around this way to get in. So let's go over here. And then we'll follow the path. Because this is where we beat the second, um, uh, the second thing, uh, uh, the deer, the deer, this is, where, this is where we beat the deer. Okay. That's fine if you want to chase me, just let me look at the map. Okay. So it's not this way, it's over here. Oh, that's right. It was through the jelly, uh, the jelly fields. That's what it was. I remember now. I remember. I forgot it was through the jellyfish. Yeah, right there. Oh shit! So many jellyfish. There it is. There it is. Bit. Okay. So the gargoyles, gargoyles should be here, right? On like a big open space. Um. Oh shit, that's the fucking night. How do I get there? Do I jump here? Okay, good, good. Oh. Oh, I don't want to fuck with that night. 
I have to do. Okay, let's jump down here. Where yet? Where yet? Okay, he turned around. Nice, nice. Let's see if we can get him from behind. Ah, fuck. Blood attack. Oh, fuck. Blood attack back. Oh, I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Fuck. Can we make him fall? Let's see if he'll chase us. Oh, he did chase us. Cool. Okay. Alright. Fuck it. Fuck it. Oh, shit. Nah, fuck it. Oh, fuck. Oh! He pushed me! That's not nice. Jesus Christ. That is way too much to read. Jesus Christ. Okay, luckily they didn't have any runes on me, so that's cool. And I got everything from that side, so we don't have to Oh! What? <laughs> okay, I got cheated on that one. I got cheated. I got screwed. Not cool. Ah, uh, yeah, that wasn't cool. That wasn't cool, man. Oh, fuck. I forgot I can stream. Oh, fuck. Okay. Crap. Okay. So I don't think we're gonna get to actually fight the gargoyles today. <sighs> that sucks. Okay. At least we can get to them though. Is that a knight? What is that? On the waterfall. Was that a knight? Bit we snug pass him. Oh shit! What the fuck are you? Oh you did. You have a shield. Oh. oh, they give me freeze? Do they freeze me? That's not freeze. What is that? I have no idea. Okay. Ooh, beetle. Ah, oh, I missed the beetle. It's fine. Nice. Nice. Oh, I got healing. That's dope. I need a healing. Nice. Should we try to kill that knight? Or just run past him? The other one killed us. Hardcore. Now uh, let's see where we are. If we're close, sure, we'll come back and kill it. Uh, cool. What's that? Okay. Hey, Miguel. What's Gucci, bro? Inner order. Okay. How was work, man? Oh, this is the gargoyles. Okay. Bit. Is there like a fucking statue of Mar Marika? Marika? This bitch. Oh, treasure though. Is it treasure? Ah, it's no treasure. Oh my god.
Okay, let's go back. That took me off guard. Okay, I'm going past this guy again. <coughs> Run past this guy again. Let's, let's kill this guy. Nice. Got all of them. Nice. Alright. Let's get those, uh, those cops. Am I ready? Thank you. Do you finish eating? Baby, hurry up, please. All right, first try, gargoyles. No, baby, you have to hurry up. Okay, this, this, and screw it, let's go for it. All right, let's see how many I don't know how many times I can actually play today. Oh shit, okay. Okay, so I'm not getting one shot, which is dope. Oh my god, okay. Heal up, heal up. Ah, I'm on the venom, I'm on the venom. Ah, I'm poisoned, damn it. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, stop jumping! I have more poison. No, no, run away, run away, run away. Okay, so I know I have two, like, oh, stupid idiot. He's like right on the poison. Oh, you stupid idiot. Talking to me. Uh, he's about to be dead. Fuck. Fuck. Uh. Uh. Catherine party? Can I join your game? Uh, yeah, let me... Give me, like, two tries. Because I don't have, like, that much longer to stream. That's my problem. I gotta like, gotta dip soon. But I'll be down for tomorrow, cause tomorrow I'm gonna stream like at around six or so. Oh fuck! I mean, yeah. all but for sure though, tomorrow I'm fucking down. I'm down like a clown, especially with this shit. Uh. Uh. Oh, it's perfect. Ah, uh, it's not perfect. Fuck. <gasps> I'm almost dead. Fuck. He brought the axe. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Ah, fuck. Not perfect. Go back. Go back. Go back. Oh, you missed. I'm already poisoned. All right, hopefully we can kill. Ah, you dick. Fuck. All right. Fuck. One more, one more. Oh, nice. Ah, fuck, not nice. Damn it. Alright, bet. Uh, yeah, my bad, like Sam. I'm really just about to dip. I just wanted to try before I had to head out. No, that shit. Um, but yeah, um, 
I'll be on like around six. I'll start playing maybe like around six thirty or so, close to seven, maybe six, six thirty honestly. So yeah, just come through tomorrow about the same time, six thirty. Uh, well, six six thirty central, and then um, oh yeah, I'll be down. Look. Okay. At least now, at least now we know what we're playing with. I think tomorrow we will be able to, uh, you know, how I many hours have I had? Sixty hours. That's not bad. Um, but yeah, I got a dip though. I got a dip it do. I was just really trying to just like you know, try, try to get a run before, before I have to go. But I gotta go though. But either way, thank you for hanging out. My bad it wasn't that long, but you know. I got shit to do, sadly. Dad mode, dad mode. You know how it goes. Uh but yeah. Either way. Thank you for chilling. Thank you for coming through. And I will see you guys tomorrow at 6.30, well, 6, 6 p.m. Central. I'm trying to help people be bosses on PlayStation. Oh, bet, even better, because I do have a PS5. That's what I'm running through right now. Uh, yeah, we'll, um, you know, I'll get you Discord tomorrow, and then we'll, uh, for sure, um, we'll beat this motherfucker tomorrow then. Bet. Well, appreciate you guys. Have a good day.